everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are going to be learning how to make the Wrapped in Jewels shawl. I have been extremely busy this past month making four of these shawls, as you can see here, in four different colors. These colors are so beautiful. I'll get into the supplies we need and talk about this piece and then we'll get into making this wonderful shawl. So big thank you to Red Heart Super Saver Yarns or Red Heart Yarns for this uh, yarn today. I'm going to demonstrate in this color here. This is specifically in anemone anemone <laughs> and uh, this is a, a reddish tone it has a uh, burgundy reds and light pinks almost like a mauve tone color to it and just a beautiful color change in this yarn uh, this is super saver ombre yarn it is a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn so you can use any worsted weight yarn you'd like I, I just love the ombre design with the color changes they're, they're so gradual and so beautiful so that's why I'm going to use this yarn today but you can use any colors you can change colors in this pattern it is very simple too so uh, and I try to make it look um, very it's gonna be very easy to uh, learn this project as I go through each row so like I said though this is a size 4 medium yarn so you can use a worsted weight or an Aran yarn or even a double knitting yarn would be perfect for this project you're also going to need an eye hook which is five and a half millimeters um, this hook I uh, got from the Etsy shop would be fancy. This is an eye hook. You can use an H hook, which is five millimeters, or um, a J hook, which is six millimeters but I'm going to demonstrate with an eye hook today. This uh, wooden handled hook is a hand carved ergonomic wooden handle and uh, you, like I said you can get it at the Etsy shop would be fancy. I use this type of hook in all of my videos. They are so easy to work with especially if you would crochet for a really long period of time. I recommend this to any crocheter so an eye hook for this project is perfect. You're also going to need a scissor and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew in your ends on this project. And then you'll also need a uh, little extra supplies here. Um, I'm using beads in this project on the edge here and we are going to sew them in using transparent um, thread here. So I'm using this Coats Transparent thread. It's clear thread so it's very difficult to see but you can use a thread that is the same color as your project or um, a different uh, or a transparent thread if you can't get this but I got this at Michael's so you should be able to get it at any craft store and a sewing needle set as well. I'm going to be using um, these little um, needles right in here just to, to sew on uh, the beads with the thread and the type of beads I got also at Michael's are these beads here so I used, I had to get two of these um, types of uh, uh, beads here, two sets uh, to fit all the, to have the, all the beads in there. So this is the Strung Glass Pearl Beads. So you can see Darius here. That is the label, but again, I'll have the link to get these specific beads on my website uh, through Michael's. So that's where I got them, Michael's uh, stores, craft stores. So those are the supplies. And if you also want to use a um, measure tape, I have this cute little measure tape here just to measure your work as you go that's totally fine um, but my piece now this the shawl the finished shawl completely done well we can measure some um, sections here because I know if you if you get to a certain point and are hoping it's measuring right we can measure it um, from the first rows out to the let's see from the very beginning row the first row to let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve the first 13 rows should be about seven and a half eight inches okay which is about 20 centimeters okay so if you're going to do the first eight row or i'm sorry first 13 rows um then then just make sure you measure it and it should be that should be like the gauge of how this should be but when you finish your whole shawl okay the whole shawl from this end here across the way all the way to this end here should be 50 inches across okay the top 
here, 50 inches, okay? And then the length from here all the way down the center to this point down here should be 34 inches, about 35 inches, okay? And I'll have all that information in the notes section on my blog, yarnutopia.com, where you'll get all the supplies listed, all the written pattern for free on there. You can also get the PDF download on my Etsy shop, um, so I'll have that linked in there too. If you want to just print it off and keep it forever, you can do that too. Uh, and then I'll have all the other colors that I used listed as well. Look at this beautiful blue color here the ombre color looks really nice you'll see this in the photos too and this one this jade is like one of my all favorites and this was the very first one I made the prototype and everything it is so beautiful I love this one and it's cool that Michaels had the beads to match each color and you can see this purple one too it's violet this is gorgeous as well. Actually, this one is, um, this yarn uh, was actually called Purple, but Red Heart um, Super Saver Ombre also has a violet, so it's a little different tone of purple as well in the ombre. So, and then there's this. These are just so gorgeous, the color changes and everything. So I am going to demonstrate today using the Anemone color, which is this uh, burgundy uh, red color. So you will see me uh, teaching in this color, but you can use any color you want. So before we begin though, I do have to mention the links in the description of this video, links to the blog, link to the Facebook, Instagram. If you make this or any of Yarn Utopia's projects on my website, be sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia when you post your photos because uh, then I can see them on Instagram. And also uh, you can follow me on Snapchat. I like to Snapchat a lot of behind the scenes clips of what we do here at Yarn Utopia headquarters. So you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm just Yarn Utopia on there. And uh, follow me on all the social media sites and uh, join the discussion online and see the next projects we're making. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. Big thank you to my dad Dad, what as much for taking the time to make this video with us and a big thank you to you for watching so now let's just get right into it and make the wrapped in jewels shawl all right let's start off with a slip knot so put your short end over your long end then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight and there's your slip knot insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna go to the first chain right here, go into that chain, and then slip stitch to form a ring. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And there we have a ring. And we're going to work into this ring. For round or row one, we are going to chain up three. One, two, and three. And for this row, this chain of three counts as a stitch. Now we're going to put four double crochets into this ring. So yarn over, go into the ring, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet, so we're going to make four of those, so that was one. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, here's three, and four. Now we are going to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two. And now we're going to put five double crochets into this ring. So yarn over, go back into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you can kind of see the mini triangular shape is formed here. Let me pull this down. So this is the row one here, okay? So you should have 10 stitches, including this chain up three right here. This is a stitch, so 10 stitches. So now going on to row two, let's chain up one. So yarn over, pull through. Turn your work around like this. 
and we are going to work into this very first stitch right here. We are going to put two double crochets in that stitch. So I only chained up one, so what we're going to do is yarn over, you're going to kind of pull up your uh, loop just a little bit um, right there, then yarn over and go into that very first stitch right here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through those other two loops, okay? So you'll see that that is a stitch, okay? And we'll be working in that stitch uh, in the next row. So we're going to put two double crochets in this first stitch, so that was one. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And I do want to mention that that first chain up one right there, went before we uh, turned our work, we chained up one and turned, that chain up one will never count as anything. So uh, for here on out, when we do chain up one for the next row, it's not going to count. So this first stitch now has two double crochets in it. We are going to skip this next stitch right here, and we are going to double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, skip this stitch right here, and go into this next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to double crochet into the skipped stitch right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to work around this double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go back to this uh, stitch that we skipped right here, okay? I'm working around this double crochet stitch. So yarn over around it, just like that. Kind of pull up a little bit. Then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. So now it looks like a crisscross stitch, but this double crochet is worked around that double crochet, just like that. And we're gonna do that again. So skip this next stitch right here, okay? And work a double crochet into the stitch that's before the chain two space right here. So work a regular double crochet in there and then double crochet into this skipped stitch right here. So yarn over, go over, okay, working around that double crochet, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have two crisscross stitches like that. And now we're in the chain two space here. We are going to put two double crochet, one and two, then chain two, one and two, and then put two more double crochets in there. One and two. Okay, now we're gonna just do that um, crisscross stitch twice again. So skip this next stitch right here and go into this next stitch. And then double crochet into that skipped stitch and work around that double crochet that we made, right, like that. Just like that. Okay, and do that again. So skip this next stitch right here and double crochet into this stitch right before the chain up three stitch. Then double crochet into this skipped stitch right here. Okay, good. Now the last stitch right here is this chain up three stitch. We are going to put two double crochets in that stitch. Okay, so yarn over, go into this first front loop here, and then the back loop here. Then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, go back in for another double crochet. Okay, just like that. And that was row two. After row two, you should have 16 stitches. So if you need to count back 16 stitches, you can. Going on to row three, we are going to chain up one. So yarn over, pull through, turn the work around. And for row three, we are going to put two single crochets into this very first stitch right here. So this very first stitch, we are going to put two single crochets. So, oh, I'm sorry, a single crochet is going into the stitch, then yarn over, pull through, and so you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So go back in for another single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's two single crochets in the first stitch, and now we're going to put a 
front post single crochet on each of these next seven stitches or an each stitch until the chain two space here so this very next stitch is right here we are going to put a front post single crochet so we're gonna go from this side of the post right here around that stitch around the post just like that then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook okay that is a front post single crochet so we're going to do that on each of these seven stitches. So this next stitch right here, this stitch go on this side of it, around it to the other side, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and next stitch, around it, just like that. So on each of these seven stitches, and then once you get to the chain two space, here's the next two stitches here. And in the chain two space, we are going to put two regular single crochets. So go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So two, one, and two. Then chain two, one, two, and then put two more single crochets into that chain two space. One and two. Okay, now we're just going to kind of just repeat what we did on this side for this side. So back, uh, I'm sorry, front post, single crochet on the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four. Remember to work around the post just like that. Five six and seven and there should be one stitch left remember the stitch right here we are going to put two single crochets in there so one and two awesome so that's what that row looks like so you can see the dimension now we're going to make those big ridges there so that was row three so you should have 22 stitches on row three so if you need to count back make sure you have 22 stitches going on to row four we are going to chain up one so yarn over and pull through and turn that work around just like that and in this first stitch right here we are going to work uh, two double crochets so yarn over go into that very first stitch right there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so there's one and two okay two double crochets in that first stitch then we are going to let's see here um, work our crisscross stitches similar to row two and three there or I'm sorry row two <laughs> row three was the single crochets so these crisscross stitches now we're going to skip this next stitch right here and double crochet into this next stitch so yarn over go into this next stitch here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then that skipped stitch that we skipped over we're going to double crochet in there so yarn over go back into that one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so we made that crisscross stitch so we're going to make these crisscross stitches until we get to the chain two space here so do that and then i will meet you up when i get to the chain two space all right so when you get to the chain two space here you should have five of these crisscross stitches here here's one two three four and five and now i'm at the chain two space here and on row four it says to put two double crochets so yarn over go into the chain two space here two double crochets chain two and two double crochets into the chain two space so there's two uh two double crochets yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so chain two and then two double crochets back into that same space just like that and now we're just going to kind of repeat now going backwards what we did on this side to this side here so crisscross stitches so skip this stitch double crochet in this next stitch 
then double crochet in the skipped stitch and do the crisscross stitches until the very last stitch and on the very last stitch on the opposite side of this stitch here we have two double crochets in that last stitch there so the last stitch on this side will have two double crochets so just do crisscross stitches until the last stitch and I will meet you up when I'm finishing this row we'll go on to row five Alright, just putting two double crochets in the last stitch here. Okay, just like that. So now on row four, you should have 28 stitches. Okay, you can see here, 28 stitches across here. So now going on to row five, we are going to chain one and turn the work around. All right, and we are going to, let's see here, crisscross stitches until the chain two space. So what we're going to do, instead of putting two double crochets in this first stitch, we are going to skip this first stitch, and we are going to double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over, kind of pull up that loop just a hair on your uh, hook right there. Then yarn over, skip this first stitch, go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But we still have to double crochet into that first stitch there. So yarn over, go back into there. Then yarn over, pull through. Working around that double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, now just work your regular crisscross stitches atop these crisscross stitches. Okay, so right here, skip this stitch, go into this next stitch and double crochet and then double crochet into the skipped stitch and do that until the chain two space and then I'll meet you up at that point and we'll go on to the next step alright so you should have seven of these crisscross stitches in a row here one two three four five six seven and then we're at our chain two space here we are going to put two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in the chain two space exactly like the previous row so nothing too exciting in here, just two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Now we're just going to uh, repeat kind of, again, the opposite of what we did on this side for this side. So crisscross stitches until the end. So just skip this stitch here, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet in the skipped stitch. Okay, and just do those crisscross stitches until the end, and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row six. All right, just finished up my crisscross stitches here. So again, you should have the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row, those crisscross stitches. On row five, at the end of row five, you should have 32 stitches across, okay? Going on to row six now, we're gonna chain up one, so yarn over, pull through, turn the work around, and now we are going to put two single crochets in this very first stitch right here. So right in here, go two single crochets, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and again, go back in for another single crochet. Now we are going to make back post single crochets on each stitch until the chain two space. So it should be, I think, 15 stitches. So what we're going to do is go behind our work around this next post right here, okay, around that post to the back, then yarn over and pull through. Okay, so you have two loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a back post single crochet. So we're gonna do that on each stitch. So right here, go behind your work, around the next post, you know, to kind of separate these two crisscross stitches there, to the back, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, I'll show you again. Around this next stitch from the back, around the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. So we're doing that on each stitch until the chain two space. I'll just meet you up when I get to the chain two space. All right, so I'm at the chain two space, just doing one more of these back post single crochet stitches here. Oopsie, lost it. There we go. 
This can get kind of finicky sometimes. Okay, so in the chain two space here, we're gonna put two single crochets, regular single crochets, one and two, and then chain two, one and two, and then put two more single crochets in there. Just like that, one and two. And now, for the rest of these stitches, until the very last stitch, we are going to put a back post single crochet on each stitch until one stitch is left. And when that one stitch is left, I will come back and we'll go on to the next row. Alright, so I have one stitch left right here. You can see it, we're going to put two single crochets in the very last stitch, two regular single crochets. So one and two, just like that. And you can see that, that uh, doing those back uh, post single crochets made this ridge right here, which looks really nice, kind of like what we did here. Cool. All right, so at the end of row six, you should have 36 stitches. Okay, so make sure you count 36 stitches. Going on to row seven, we're going to chain one. So yarn over, pull through, one, turn the work around. And we're working into these stitches now. We are going to put two double crochets in this very first stitch right here. So two double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, another double crochet in that first stitch. Okay, just like that. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next and then double crochet in that skipped stitch and do the crisscross stitching again. <laughs> so yarn over, skip this next stitch, double crochet in this next stitch here, then double crochet in that skipped stitch making your crisscross stitch. Okay, and do that until the chain two space. So skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then uh, double crochet in the skipped stitch. All right, and just make crisscross stitches until the chain two space over here. I'm gonna do that and then I'll meet you up for when I get to uh, the chain two space. All right, when you get to the chain two space right here, okay, well actually there should be, let's see here, how many, uh, I think nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there should be nine of these uh, crisscross stitches in a row and then we have those two double crochets in the beginning so now we are going to work in this chain two space here we're going to put two double crochets then chain two and then two double crochets okay very similar to our previous rows that we've been doing two stitches chain two and two stitches just like that and then we're just going to repeat then opposite of what we did on this side on this side so do the crisscross stitches, so skip this next stitch, go into this next one, and double crochet, and then double crochet into the skipped stitch. You may have to move these over to see this one here, right here. Okay, and then just crisscross stitch all the way to the end until there is one stitch left, and I will meet you up when I get to that last stitch, and we will go on to the next row. When you have one stitch left right here, we need to put two double crochets in there to make it equal with the opposite side. Just like that. So two double crochets in that stitch. So finishing row seven, you should have 44 stitches all the way across, just like this. Okay, this is the back side of your work. And if we flip it over, you can see those ridges. This is the front side of your work. So now, once we have those 44 stitches on row 7, we can go on to row 8. Let's chain up 1 and turn the work around, because now on our row 8, we are looking at the front of our work here. We are going to put two single crochets in this very first stitch right here. So go in, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through 2. Go back in for another single crochet. So there's two single crochets in the first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in each stitch until the uh, chain two space. So just put one regular single crochet into each stitch, which should be about, I think there's 24 in, until we get to the chain two space, uh, 24 stitches. So just single crochet into each stitch until the chain two space, and I will meet you up when I get there. 
All right, actually it was 21 stitches there. So uh, we have the two single crochets in that first stitch and then single crochet in the 21 stitches until we get to the chain two space here. And in the chain two space, just like our previous rows, we're just gonna put two single crochets and then chain two and then two single crochets. And that's the chain two space corner there. Or, oh, it's a corner, sort of. And then we're just going to do opposite of what we did on this side to this side. So uh, if, we, if we were working this side backwards, it's what we're doing on this side. So we are going to single crochet into each of these stitches. You can see I kind of scooted this one over so I could see this first stitch here. And there we go. We're going to just single crochet into each stitch until one stitch is left and in the last stitch we are going to put two single crochets and then I'll meet you up uh, when I am going to go on to the next row. Alright, finishing up this row, there's one stitch left here. We're going to put two single crochets in there. So one and two. So at the end of row eight you should have 50 stitches. Okay, so this is what it should just look like. That was a simple single crochet row. Going on to row nine, we are going to chain up one, so yarn over, pull through one, turn the work around, and we are going to double crochet in each stitch until the chain two space there. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch right here, because remember I said earlier that this chain one doesn't count as anything. So double crochet into this, ooh, this first stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and just double crochet in each stitch until the chain two space. And then when I get to the chain two space, I will be back. All right, so I'm in the chain two space right here. We're just gonna put the two stitches, so the two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet, uh, just like we've been doing. So very simple in the chain two space here. And then what we're going to do is opposite of what we did on the other side. So if you were working this side backwards, just double crochet into each stitch. And you don't even have to put, you know, the two stitches in the last stitch or anything. Uh, it just said to double crochet one in each stitch. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I will meet you up for uh, row 10. All right, just finished up with row nine here. Okay, so you should have 54 stitches on row nine and we're looking at the back of our work here. We are going to turn our work around and go on to the next row. So for row, let's see, for row uh, 10 here, we're gonna chain up three now. So one, two, and three. We're gonna turn this work to look at the front of our work. And now we chained up three, but that's, o that's only because it's going to be part of our first stitch. We are going to make a star stitch. So to do that, we are going to go into the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one and two. The second chain right here, go into that chain, and then yarn over and pull through. Just like that. Then we're going to go down into this next chain right below it, in one of the loops only. So one loop, either this loop or this loop here, okay? So yarn over and pull through. So you have three loops on the hook. Now in another one of those loops that's on that same chain, so this loop right here, we're gonna go in and then yarn over and pull through. So now we have four loops on our hook. We need to get six loops on our hook, so we're actually gonna go down into this first stitch right here. And if you can see that, this first stitch right there, yarn over and pull through, and we have five loops on the hook, go into the next stitch right here. Yarn over and pull through. So now we have six loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops, and that is going to create a star stitch. How fabulous! And you can kind of see that this kind of pulled up and straight, and that's what it should do. And now to close the star stitch, we're going to chain one just like that. 
now so that's our first star stitch of row 10 now we are going to star stitch until the chain two space so this next star stitch what we're going to do is work in this eye of this star stitch right here so you can see this little we chained up one and we created this line right here that's where we're gonna go in then yarn over and pull through so we have two loops on the hook then we're going to go to the last loop of the star stitch right here. You can see this vertical line. We're going to go into that right here. Okay, and there should be a front and back loop actually, just like that. Okay, I'm going to go into there, yarn over and pull through. There we go. So there's three loops on the hook. Go down into the stitch of the last loop that it went in right here. The stitch, okay, on that row. Yarn over, pull through. And then in each of these next two stitches. So go in, yarn over, pull through. And this next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So you should have six loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops and then chain one. And there's our next regular star stitch. So we're going to do this all the way until the chain two space. So go into the eye of the star stitch, then go into this first or this last loop right here that we picked up, and it's a front and back loop there. Okay, the end there, yarn over, pull through, and then the last stitch that that uh, last star stitch ended on, and then the next two stitches. So you have six uh, loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and then chain one. And that creates your star stitch. Okay, so just continue making star stitches until the chain two space. And then when I am done with that, I'll meet you up. We'll do the chain two space and then we'll go on to the other side. All right, right before you get to the chain two space here, there is one stitch left. We are actually going to skip that stitch. So just skip over it and work into this chain space. So make sure you do that chain one though to close this star stitch. And then just hop into the chain two space here and make two double crochets, two regular double crochets, then chain two, and then two more regular double crochets. Just like that okay now we are not going to skip this next stitch here what we're actually going to do is let's see here um, double crochet or let's see here star stitch all the way until the last stitch okay so we you can actually skip this stitch or in the end of this row will we I'm going to what I'm going to do is actually skip the last stitch and I'll show you how to do that later but what I'm going to do now to continue the star stitch way uh, how do I do it on this thing here on this double crochet what we're going to do we already have a loop on our hook so what we're going to do now is go down in this front loop right here okay of this double crochet go in yarn over pull through and then the back loop of that same stitch right there, oops, there it is, yarn over, pull through, okay? And then this next stitch right here, the very next stitch, and I advise everybody to do this, go in to this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, and next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So now we have the six loops, yarn over and pull through all six loops, okay? then chain one to close that. But when we, for the next row later, um, we are going to be working into that double crochet stitch. So just do not forget that that is a double crochet. It's just that this star stitch here after the double crochet was just using it, using the base of it to go into this next stitch, okay? Now we're just going to star stitch, regular star stitches until the end of this row. So um, let me see here, on this other side, on this opposite side here, there should have been 13 star stitches in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we skipped that one stitch there, made two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And so there should be 13 star stitches neck on this other side. So I'm just going to do that and then I will meet you up when we are finishing this row. 
All right, so I just had 13 more star stitches in a row here, and actually I did end up having to work in the very last row, so it all worked out in the wash. So there was no extra stitches or anything, uh, even though we worked in this uh, stitch here. So it's this looks great so far. We're getting there. Awesome. So that was row 10. You should have 30 stitches. So 30 with the uh, double crochets and uh, star stitches. You should have 30 stitches across for row 10. So let's go on to um, row 11 right away. So I chained one at the end of this star stitch to close it. So I'm going to chain another one to go on to the next row. Okay, and let's turn our work. And in this first, um, the eye basically of this star stitch here, this chain, this second chain from the hook really, we are going to put two single crochets. So go in to this very, this eye right here. It looks like a stitch though. Go in, make two single crochets. So one and two. Perfect. Now in each of the eye of the, of the, uh, the star stitches here, as you can see here, not this right here, okay, but this eye right here, this hole, we're going to make two single crochets in each eye, basically. So one and two. Then hop to the next one right here, look for the eye right there, and put two single crochets in there. One and two. Okay, and just repeat that until we get to the chain two space. So just put two single crochets in each eye of each star stitch, just like this. And I will meet you up when I get to the chain two space. Alright, so uh, before I get to the chain two space, there are these two double crochet stitches. So make sure to put one single crochet in each of these double crochets. So just one single crochet in each of those double crochet stitches. And then in the chain two space right here, we are going to put two single crochet, one and two, then chain two, one, two, and then two more single crochets in there. One and two. There we go. Then in these next two double crochet stitches, we are going to put one single crochet in each of those. So one, next stitch, one. Then in the eye of this next uh, star stitch right here, we're going to put two single crochets. One and two. And in each of the eye of the, each of these single, or I'm sorry, each of these star stitches are going to get two single crochets. So one and two. Next eye right there, put two single crochets. And do that all the way to the last stitch. I'll show you how to do the last stitch and then we'll go on to the next row. All right, when you get to the last star stitch on row 11, we are going to put one single crochet in that eye, and then we're just going to single crochet at the very end of this row, either in this looking stitch right here or in this chain right there. But I'm just gonna go into this stitch right here and just single crochet, just to get to the very end of the row and so it's all even. Then we're going to go into row 12. We're going to do more star stitches. So let's chain up three. One, two, and three. Turn the work around. Oh, and I have to mention there were 60 stitches, 60 single crochet stitches on that row all the way across, okay? So just uh, to count your stitches if you want to. So going on to the next row, I'm turning my work around. We already chained up three. We are going to make a beginning star stitch, just like I showed you in the previous, or the last second row there, last two rows there when we made these star stitches. We're going to go into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through. Then the next chain, go in, yarn over, and pull through. And in that same chain in the other loop behind it, yarn over, pull through. And then in the uh, first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through. And in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So we have six loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all six, all six loops. There we go. And then chain one to close it. Okay, and there's your star stitch. And then just star stitch until the chain space. There should be 
15 star stitches in a row. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll meet you up when I get to the chain 2 space. Alright, I'm just on my 15th here, my 15th star stitch, uh, right before the chain 2 space. Alright, so once we get to the chain 2 space, just don't forget to chain 1 there. And in the chain 2 space here, we are going to put 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. And then chain 2, 1, 2. And then put 2 more double crochets into that chain 2 space. Okay, and just like I showed you for that previous row where we um, made this next star stitch on this double crochet, we're going to do that same thing. So go down to this front loop here, yarn over, pull through, go to the back loop of that same double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, then go into this very next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through just like this. So we have six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then chain one to close that star stitch. And then just continue your star stitches until the very end, and you should have, like I said, 15 star stitches in a row. So I'm going to make 15 star stitches, and then I'll meet you up uh, at the end of this row. Alright, I'm just making this uh, last star stitch. There should be one stitch left. I'm going to count how many star stitches I have though. Make sure you chain one after that one. So let me count on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I know I have 14 star stitches on this side and 15 on this side. And there's only one stitch left. So we need 15 stitches. So let's just put a half double crochet in this one. So yarn over. Go into the very last stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so there's 15 stitches. Uh, nobody's going to see that because that's going to be crocheted over anyways uh, when we make, um, when we clean up this edge here. So going on to row 13, we are going to chain up one, turn the work around. Also on row 12 there, you should have had 34 stitches total. Okay, so uh, if you need to count your stitches, but all of the stitch counts are in the written pattern. Uh, but in this uh, row 13 here, I turned my work around, chained up one there. We're going to put two single crochets in this very first stitch, in this half double crochet stitch. Put two single crochets. So one, and go back in for two. There we go two single crochets in the first stitch. And then in each of these eyes of these uh, star stitches, we're going to put two single crochets. Uh, just like I showed you in the previous rows here where we worked two single crochets in each of the eyes of the uh, star stitches, we're going to put two single crochets in each of those eyes or chain one spaces. So do that until the chain two space of the corner and then I'll meet you up at that point and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, right before this chain two corner space, if you can see that, we have two double crochet stitches. So I put the two single crochets in the chain in this uh, chain one eye of the uh, star stitch. So skip over this because that's part of the star stitch right here. So we are going to go into this double crochet stitch right here and put a single crochet. And also in this next one, just one single crochet. And then in the chain two corner space, we are going to put two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet. Okay. Then we're just going to put one single crochet in each of these next two stitches. So one single crochet in here and one single crochet in here. And then in the rest of these stitches, the, uh, just put two single crochets into the eye of each star stitch. So one and two, hop to the next right here and put two single crochets. Just like that. All the way to the end. When I'm on the very last stitch, I will meet you up and then we'll go on to row 14. When you have one star stitch left, uh, like I showed you in that last star stitch row, we are going to put a single crochet in this eye and then a single crochet at the very end. Okay, just like that. 
and then we can go on to round 14. So at the end of round 13, you should have 68 stitches, 68 single crochet stitches. So going on to round or row 14, I keep saying rounds, I don't know why. Uh, row 14, we're gonna chain up one, turn the work around, and we are going to put two double crochets in the first stitch right here. So this very first stitch, we're going to yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's two double crochets in the first stitch. Then we're going to double crochet into each stitch until the chain two space. So this is just a basic double crochet row. So nothing too fancy, just put one double crochet in each stitch. Um, that first stitch gets two double crochets and then each of these stitches until the chain two space. When I get to the chain two space, I will be back and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so I just double crocheted until the chain two space here, and when you get to this point, we are going to put, just like you guessed it, two double crochets, then chain two, and two more double crochets in that chain two space. And I just have to say, this ombre yarn is so super fabulous, just look at that color change, like light and then dark, and it's getting darker, and then it's gonna get light again. It is so pretty, I love it. So now going on to the next step, we are just going to double crochet into each stitch until the end. And uh, when we have one stitch left, I'll meet you up because we will put two double crochets in there, and then we'll go on to the next row. All right, when you're on your last stitch of row 14 here, we're just going to put two double crochets in there. So this is what your work should look like right now. It's just, we just did all double crochets on row 14 in, in the chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then two double crochets in the first stitch and two double crochets in the last stitch. So it's a basic um, double crochet row. And um, at the end of this row, you should have 74 stitches. So now let's go on to row 15. Let's chain up one and then turn the work around. And we are going to put two single crochets in this very first stitch right here. Okay, so the chain up one doesn't count it as anything. So go into this first stitch here and put two single crochets, one and two. Okay, now what we're going to do is very similar to what we did back on row three is work front post single crochets on each of these double crochets until the chain two space. So go in on this side of the post, okay, this next post right here. Okay, go on the side of it, around it, just like that, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, we're gonna do that in each stitch all the way across, and um, I'm just gonna do that all until we get to the chain two space, show you what to do in the chain two space, and then we'll go on to the other side of this shawl. All right, when you get to the chain two space right here, we're just gonna put two single crochets, then chain two and two single crochets in the chain two space. And then we're just going to continue with the pattern. So two single crochets, chain two, and then two more single crochets in there. One and two, just regular single crochets. And then we're just gonna do opposite what we did on this side for this side. So uh, front post single crochet around each stitch until one stitch is left. And when there's one stitch left, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the next row. Alright, when you have one stitch left right here, we're going to put two single crochets in there. So one and two, two regular single crochets, just like we did in the first stitch of this row, like that. So this is what your row should look like, just front post stitches, or front post single crochets, all the way across. So at the end of row 15, you should have 80 single crochets. So going on to row 16 now, we are going to chain up one, turn our work around, okay? This is the front of our work, okay? You can see these ridges here, and this is going to have that ridge there as well, okay? So now going on to row 16, we are putting two double crochets in the very first stitch. So yarn over, go into the very first stitch right here, 
then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we are going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through, and then we're going to skip the very next stitch right here, and we're going to double crochet into this next stitch. So yarn over, go into this stitch here. So skip this stitch right here, go into here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to repeat now those uh, two steps all the way until the chain two space over here. So we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, then skip the next stitch right here, and double crochet into this next stitch there. Okay, then chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next, okay? So do that up until you get to the chain two space, and then I'll meet you up at that tip, and we will go on to the next step. All right, I'm just doing my double crochet here. Now when you're at the chain two space here, there should be one stitch left before the chain two space, so we're gonna chain one and skip that stitch. And then in the chain two space right here, we are going to work two double crochets. One and two. Then chain two, one, two, and then two more double crochets in that same chain two space. And then we're gonna work the opposite across this way here. So chain one, skip the next stitch right here, and double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. And do that until the very last stitch. I'll meet you up at that point, and we will go on to the next row. Alright, when you have these two stitches left, I just uh, did my double crochet chain one. We're going to skip this stitch and in the very last stitch here on row 16, we're going to put two double crochets. So one and two. And that's row 16. At the end of row 16, you should have 46 stitches. So if you want to count back, you can count 46. Chain up one and turn your work around. Going on to row 17 now, we are going to put two double crochets in each of these first two stitches. So in this first stitch right here, yarn over, go in, and put two double crochets, one and two. And in the very next stitch right here, put two double crochets, one and two. Fabulous. Now what we're going to do is our repeat. We're going to chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet into the double crochet stitch. And do that until the chain two space over here, right here at that point there. Okay, so just chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in this next double crochet stitch. Then chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet in the next stitch. And do that until the, the point, the chain two space, I'll meet you up at that point, and then we'll uh, go on to the next step. All right, when you get to the chain two space here, this is what we're going to do. So I did this double crochet, chain one, skip this chain one space, then double crochet in this next double crochet. There should be one stitch left before your chain two space. We're gonna chain one, and in the chain two space, we're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets just like we have been doing. Two stitches, chain two, and two stitches, whether they're double crochets or single crochets. And then now we're going to work opposite what we did uh, for this side, for this side, to finish off this row. So chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. Then chain one, skip one, the chain one space here, and double crochet in the next stitch. And just do that to the end, and when I get uh, closer to the end, I will uh, meet you up and we'll do, we have to do two double crochets in each of the last two stitches, just like we did in the very first two stitches, to make it equal on this side, and then we can go on to row 18. All right, after you double crochet in this stitch and chain one, we're gonna skip this chain one space and we have two stitches left here. We're gonna put two double crochets in each one of those, just like I had just said. 
and then we can go on to row 18. So at the end of row 17, you should have, I believe it's 52 stitches. Let me just double check my notes real quick before we go on to the next step. Yes, 52 stitches on row 17, and that's in the written pattern too. You can check that out at yarnutopia.com. But now we're just going to chain up one and turn our work around and go on to row 18. We are going to put two double crochets in this very first stitch right here. So right in this very first stitch put two double crochets. One and two. Then we're going to chain one, skip this next stitch right here, and then double crochet in the next stitch right here. Just like that. Now what we're actually going to do is chain one, and we're going to skip this double crochet and this chain one space, and we're going to double crochet into this double crochet stitch right here. Okay? And that's just to, for the beginning of this row. Now, for the rest of this row, we're just going to chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet in the next stitch. And then do the point, uh, this next chain two space over here, exactly like the previous row. And then do the opposite on this side, just like the previous row. And when I get back to this very end of this row here, I will meet you back up in the next clip. I'll show you how to finish row 18, and then we'll be able to go on to row 19. All right, so when you are ending um, row 18 here, I have this double crochet in here, I chained one, we're gonna skip this chain uh, one space and this double crochet here, and we're gonna double crochet into this next stitch right here. And then we're gonna chain one, and just like on the opposite side, we are going to put two double crochets in the very last stitch because we put two double crochets in the very first stitch. So it's equal on each side. So now your piece should look like this. I'm going to flip this around so you can see here. And we have, so we basically just repeated that last row, just the beginning and end were uh, different there. So, uh, but it's the chain one, double crochet in the next, chain one, etc. So now let's go on to row 19. Let's just uh, chain up one here. Turn the work around. It says to, let's see, row, row 19, two double crochets in each of the first two stitches. Okay, so very similar to row 17 here, where we put two double crochets in the first stitch and in the stitch right after that. So one, two, next stitch, one and two. Fabulous. Then we are going to chain one skip the chain one space and double crochet into the next double crochet. Then chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. So basically just repeat row 17. It's that easy. So I'm going to do that. Uh, if you need to rewind this to see what I did for row 17, how I started and ended it, I just showed you how to start it. So I'll meet you up when I'm ending this row 19 here and we'll go on to row 20. All right, finishing up row 19 here. Remember, just like we started, we have to put the two double crochets in the uh, each of the last two stitches here, just like we did at the beginning of this row. You can see here, we put the two double crochets in the first two stitches, okay? So um, now, at the end of row 19, you should have 58 stitches, okay? We want to do another row of this. Row 20 will be another one of these um, double crochet, chain one, skip one, um, you know, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, etc. So the next row will be our uh, last repeat of this part, and then we'll change it up for row 21. But for row 20, we're going to chain up one, turn the work around, <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch, one and two, okay? Just like row 18 here, we're doing um, for row 20, okay? So then skip the next stitch, make sure you chain one, and then put a double crochet in that next stitch, okay? Then chain one. And then we're going to skip this stitch right here and this chain one space and then dub double crochet into that next double crochet stitch. And then just 
uh, do your established pattern here. Chain one, skip chain one space, double crochet in the next double crochet, then chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. And then uh, just basically just repeat row 18 for row 20. So if you need to rewind this to see how I did row 18 fully, you can uh, rewind this. But I'm just going to repeat that and then I'll meet you up when I'm finishing row 20 and we'll be able to go on to row 21 next. When you're finishing row 20, just remember double crochet, chain one, skip this chain, last chain one space and this double crochet, and then double crochet into the next double crochet, and you should have two stitches left. We're going to uh, chain one and then put only two double crochets in the very last stitch, one and two. Okay, just like we started this row. Awesome. So at the end of row 20, you should have the same amount of stitches that you did on row 19. So you should have 58 stitches on both of those rows 19 and 20 should both have 58 stitches or the same amount of stitches. So let's go on to row 21. We're going to change it up a little bit. Let's chain up one and turn our work. And now this row is going to be uh, one of those basic double crochet rows, just like this one way down here, you can see, just double crocheting across. So in this first stitch here, we are going to put two double crochets, one and two in the very first stitch, and then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch, okay? We're going to double crochet in each chain one space, and in each stitch. So each stitch gets a double crochet and each chain one space gets a double crochet. And we're doing that until the uh, corner space or the t like point here, the chain two space. We're going to um, meet up at that point. I'll show you what to do in that point, uh, the chain two space, and then we'll go on to doing the other side. So it's just double crochet in each stitch and double crochet in each chain one space. Okay, so I'll meet you up when I get to, I'm going to do all of this, and I'll meet you up when I get to this point here. All right, when you get to this uh, corner piece here, this point of our shawl, you should see there's two double crochets and then the chain two and two double crochets. We're gonna double crochet in each one of those stitches. So double crochet and then double crochet. And then in the chain two space, we're gonna do just that. We're going to put two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, just like we did for the last like five rows there. And then just do the opposite then on this side what we did on this side so basically like what if we were working backwards on this side that's what we have to do on this side here so double crochet in these next two stitches and then just put a double crochet in this chain one space and double crochet into each stitch so double crochet in the chain one spaces and double crochet into each stitch and I'm going to do that until one stitch is left, and I'll meet you up at that point. Alright, when you have one stitch left here, uh, the very last stitch, we are going to put two double crochets in there to finish off row 21. So at the end of row 21, we, are, we did so many double crochets. At the end of this row, you should have 116 stitches. Okay, so make sure you have just your basic double crochet row and that has 116 stitches. Going on to <clears throat> row 22, we are going to chain up one and then turn your work around. And for row 22, we are going to put two single crochets in this very first stitch right here. So go into this first stitch here, just put two single crochets, one and two. And what we're going to do is basically repeat what we did for row six. I don't know if you remember what we did for row six way over here, what we did back post single crochets. Okay, these back post single crochet stitches. So that's what we're going to do for row 22. So back post single crochet going behind our work around this next post right here to the back again, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, go to the back of your work around the next post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And we're doing this on each stitch until the chain two space. 
and that's the point. So I'm going to do that on each of these stitches, and then I'll meet you up at the chain two. Uh, it's basically our corner piece, corner point there of the shawl, and then uh, we'll meet up at that point, and I'll show you what to do next, and we'll work on the other side. All right, when you get to the chain two corner space here, this uh, point of our shawl, the center of our shawl, we're going to put two single crochets, then chain two, and then two single crochets, just like we've been doing for the other rows, two stitches, chain two, two stitches. Now we're going to work this side here exactly how we'd worked this side, just putting a back post single crochet on each stitch until only one stitch remains, and I'll meet you up at that point, and then we can go on to uh, row 23. All right, when you have one stitch left, we just have to put two regular single crochets in there to match the very first stitch where we put two single crochets in the first stitch. So that was row 22. Going on to row 23, we're going to chain one. Oh, and at the end of row 22, you should have 122 stitches. So let's turn our work around. We chained up one. Going on to row 23 now, we are going to put two double crochets in this first stitch. So yarn over, go into this first stitch right here and make two double crochets. One and two. Okay, and if you recall what we did back in row four, way down here, when we did these crisscross stitches, one, two, three, four, this, this row right here, where we made these uh, crisscross stitches, okay, we put two double crochets in the first stitch and then made the crisscross stitches until the chain two space. So that's what we're going to do here. We are going to skip the next stitch right here and we're gonna double crochet into the stitch after that. And then we're going to double crochet into that skipped stitch that working around this double crochet here. Okay, just like that. So I am going to go a little bit faster. If you need to rewind this to see row four, you can, uh, but I'm just going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet it back into that skipped stitch, working around that double crochet stitch like that. So that makes a little crisscross there. Okay, so skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet into the skipped stitch. And we're gonna do that all the way until the chain two space. And when I get to the chain two space, I will meet you up and we will go on to the next step. All right, when you get to the chain two space right here, I just made that last crisscross stitch there. When you get to the chain two space here, we're gonna just put a regular two double crochets one and two, then chain two, one, two, and then two double crochets in there, okay? And this is just just exactly like row four, so if you wanted to, you could res just rewind this. I'm just going to finish this off by doing crisscross stitches until the very last stitch, and I will meet you up at that point, and we can go on to uh, row 24. All right, just finishing row 23 here, just gonna put two double crochets in the last stitch, just like we started this row. Just put two regular um, single, or I'm sorry, double crochets into this last stitch here, okay? So at the end of row 23, you should have 128 stitches. So we just did the crisscross stitches, just repeating row four, basically. So going on to row 24, we're going to chain up one, turn the work around, and we are going to start with a crisscross stitch. We're not putting two stitches in this first stitch here. We're actually going to skip this very first stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, and double crochet in there. And then double crochet into that first stitch, which we skipped. So yarn over, go back into that skipped stitch, and make your crisscross stitch. Just like that. So we just made a crisscross stitch to start row 24. And now we're just going to crisscross stitch in each of these crisscross stitches, basically. So skip this next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet in the skipped stitch. And do that all the way until the chain two space. And I'll meet you up at that point. 
All right, in the chain two space here, so I just did this crisscross stitch here, right in the chain two space, we're doing the two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet, okay? And then we are continuing then with the crisscross stitches all the way to the end of this side. Now we're going to work on this side. So we're just skipping this next stitch and double crocheting in the next and then double crocheting in that skipped stitch, working around that double crochet, just like that. And just work that all the way to the end then. And I'll meet you up on the last stitch and we'll go on to row 25. All right, just making my last crisscross stitch here. It should get you to the very end of this row. So now at the end of row 24, you should have 132 stitches, okay? So 132 double crochets, and this is what your work should look like. So we want these, the, we have two crisscross rows here, okay, one and two. We want to get five in a row. So rows 25, 26, and 27, the next three rows, we are going to repeat row 24. So just exactly how we started and ended, and in this point here where we put the two double crochets chain two, two double crochet in the point, in the center point, uh, is exactly the same. So starting with a crisscross and ending with a crisscross for these next three rows, just make sure to chain up one and turn your work around. So I'm just going to do rows 25, 26, and 27 off camera because it's exactly how we did row 24. Okay, so if you need to rewind this to see how I did row 24, you can, but I'm going to do the next three rows um, just exactly the same, just crisscross stitches uh, all the way across there. And then when I'm finished with row 27, uh, if you need stitch counts and everything, you can get that in the written pattern. I will have stitch counts for each row in the written pattern, uh, but if you... Um, so if you need that, you can check that out at yarnutopia.com or the link is in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. But I'm just going to do these three rows, rows 25, 26, and 27 uh, off camera, just doing the crisscross rows. And when I'm finished, I will be back and we can go on to row 28 next. Alright, I just finished repeating the crisscross rows, so you can see here we have five of those rows in total here. Crisscross row one, two, three, four, five. This is row 27 I just finished, and you should have 144 stitches on row 27. And the stitch counts are all in the um, pattern on the website, but you can see here this is what your piece should look like, the nice crisscross rows and the ombre design is so super fabulous I'm so obsessed with this oh my gosh so let's go on to row 28 we are going to do um, the back post stitches again so let's chain up one and then turn the work around okay and I want to say um, like repeat row 22 um, for row 28, basically just putting two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two. And then remember back post single crochets going from behind the work around the next post, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. Okay. If you need to rewind this to see how I did row 22, you can. It's just the same thing we did right here and right here, okay? But this time it's back post single crochets. So we're just single. Cro we're just doing the back post single crochets and in the chain two space, just like every row we've been doing, put two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet in the chain two space. And then back post single crochet until the very end. When I'm on the very last stitch, I'll meet you back up. Um, then we'll put two single crochets in the last stitch and we'll be able to go on to row 29. All right, just finishing up row 28, we have to put two single crochets in this very last stitch, just regular single crochets. Just like that. So at the end of row 28, you should have 150 stitches, just re, you know, repeating row 22 when we did those back post single crochets. Just like that. So now what I need you to do is rewind this video to row 10. We are repeating rows 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So the next five rows, rows 29 to 33, 
are a repeat of rows 10 through 14. So you remember row 10 was chain up three and turn your work and make the star stitches and then um, do the uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the chain two space, and then star stitch to the end. And I've showed you that already, so I don't have to show you that again. Just rewind this video to row 10, and just repeat rows 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And when I am finished, let's see, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. When I'm finished with um, row uh, 33, I will meet you up because row 33 will get me to that repeat of row 14. <laughs> Okay, just repeat those rows. If you need to, follow along with the written pattern. All of this information is in there just to repeat um, which rows you need to repeat for the next five rows. I'm going to do all that, and when I finish row 33, I will meet you up. We'll go on to row 34 together. Alright, welcome back. I just finished uh, row 33 here, so it should be um, these uh, last few rows were repeating rows... Let's see here, we did the star stitch rows 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? So that was rows 29 to 33 there, okay? So I did my, you can see the back post stitch row there that we just, we left off at, and then I did the star stitch row after that, then single crochet, then star stitches, then single crochets, and then double crochets. That's a repeat of row 14 right there. So now we're going to go on to row 34, and row 34 is actually a repeat of row 22, <laughs> okay? So uh, it's a little different. I know we did repeat rows 10 through 14, and then sticking row 22 in there. Um, but it would be similar to, let me look at my notes real quick, row um, 15, where, don't look at my notes, they're all scribbles, ew. Um, but it's similar to row 15, but it is not um, front post stitches. We're working back post stitches instead. So let's chain up one and turn the work around. Okay, so we're going to be working back post single crochets on this row. This is row 34 now. So in the first stitch, just like we would, put two single crochets in that first stitch. And then in this next stitch right here, we're going to go to the back around the post, making our back post single crochet. So just repeat row 22, exactly how we did that. Um, so I'm just going to do that row, back post single crochets. In the chain 2 space, put 2 single crochet, chain 2, and 2 single crochet. And then put 2 single crochets in the very last stitch. But every stitch on this row gets a back post single crochet otherwise. So just do that and then I'll meet you up for row 35. Alright, just finished my back post single crochets. I'm just putting two single crochets in the last uh, stitch there. So that is finishing row 34. You should have 176 stitches on row 34 if you want to count them, just the back post stitch row. So now what we need to do is repeat rows. Let's see here, we're going on row 35. So row, row 35 to 40 is a repeat of row 16 to 21. So if you go back here down to, let's see here, row 16, let me look at my notes real quick, is the double crochet skip one. Okay, so way down here, this row right here is row 16. Okay, so row 16 to 21 is this whole section right here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh no, just this section, sorry. Because then we're going to come back up when we do our next ridge. You can see the ridge there, the back post stitches. I'll meet you up at that point. So we'll just do rows 16 to 21. So uh, for row 35, we're repeating row 16. For row 36, you're repeating row 17. For row 37, you're repeating row 18. For row 38, you're repeating row 19. For row 39, you're repeating row 20. And for row uh, 40, you're repeating row 21. Okay, this double crochet row. So this whole section right here. 
So I'm just going to do that. Um, just rewind this if you need to to see what I had done. And I'm just going to turn my work around and repeat. I'm going on to row 35 now. So I'm just going to repeat row 16 for this row. And when I finish row 40, I'll meet you up because uh, row 41, we are going to do um, front post single crochets. So I'll show you how to do that at that time. So good luck and I'll meet you up in just a few rows. Alright, I just finished row 40 here, so you can see we repeated rows 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, okay, so for that section. So now, see, so you can see down here, it's just this section up here now, okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, go on to row 41, and it's very similar, like, if we were going to do row 22, because, you know, it's like rows... Um, Here's rows 16 to 21, and then you would think we would go into repeating row 22 for row 41, but instead of back post single crochets, we are going to do front post single crochets. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work around, going on to row 41 now. And it's basically like re we repeat row 3. So remember row 3 way back in the beginning there. We're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch. And we're going to make front post single crochets. So going in from the front of your work around this next post, just like that. Then yarn over, pull through. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. So front post single crochet. And we're just going to put one front post single crochet on every stitch across this row. In the chain 2 space of our point, we are going to put 2 single crochet, chain 2, and 2 single crochet, just like the other rows. And then in the very last stitch, we are going to put 2 single crochets. So I'll meet you up at that point, and then we'll go on to row 42 together. Alright, just finishing up row 41 here. Just got to put two single crochets in the last stitch. Alright, so now going on to rows 42 to 46 here, we are going to actually repeat rows 23 to 27. So you can see here um, these crisscross rows. If you can see that, there we go. These crisscross rows. So we're going to do 20, uh, row 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. These five rows, the next five rows, rows 42 to 46, are going to be a repeat of row 23 to 27. So if you need to just rewind this or just repeat what you did for those crisscross rows, but I'm just going to do that and I'll meet you up then. We'll go on to row 47 together. Alright, welcome back. I just finished row 46 here. So at the end of row 46, you should have 240 stitches. We did uh, rows, let's see here, 42 right here, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So five rows of the crisscross stitches, like I said. So now the uh, last row, row 47, is a plain double crochet row, similar to what we did down here right here where we just did two double crochets in the first and last stitch and one double crochet in each stitch um, well this row right here is a row in chain one spaces as well but we'll do that up here we're going to chain up one and then turn the work around let's flip it over it's getting quite big now so lovely we're gonna put two double crochets in this first stitch right here one and two and then we're going to put one double crochet into each stitch, okay? No front or back post or anything like that, just a regular double crochet into each stitch. And then in the chain two space, same as every row, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Or two stitches, chain two, two stitches, okay? In the chain two space of the point. And then up the other side is just one double crochet into each stitch. I'll meet you up when I get to the very last stitch and we will go on to the next step. All right, when you come back through, just make sure to put two double crochets in the very last stitch, and then we can go on to the next row. Now, row 48 is exactly the same. We're just doing another double crochet row. And in fact, you can actually do as many rows of this as you want if you want to continue with the length 
uh, making this longer. You can chain one, turn your work, put two double crochets in the first stitch, and then one double crochet in each stitch until the chain two space. And in the chain two space, put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then double crochet into each stitch till the very last stitch, and in the very last stitch, put two double crochets. You can do that as many times as you want to make the length um, longer if you want to. I'm just going to do it for row 48 now. I'm on row 48 now. But when we finish row 48, we are not going to fasten off. I'll meet you up at the very end of this row and then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so I just came to the very last stitch here. Like I said, you could put two double crochets in the very last stitch. And that is completed row 48. Now, at this point, if you want to continue, like I said, you can continue these rows just doing double crochet rows to make your shawl as big as you want. But at this point, we are going to start making the border. So this is what your shawl should look like. It's really, really big. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, instead of going onto a new row, we're actually going to go along this edge of the shawl here. Okay, sorry, my notes are in here. So what we're going to do is turn this around here. Well, not around, but just going, so you're looking at it, this edge right here. Okay, and what we're going to do is chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And in this same stitch as these last two double crochets, we're going to put two more double crochets. Kind of like how we make granny square corners. We're putting two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in there. And now we're going to work along this edge. And basically, wherever your hook fits is where you should double crochet along this edge. There is no stitch count or anything along this edge. It's just double crocheting to clean up the edge. Because here, I want to show you real quick here, oops, there we go, um, over here, if you lay this down and see this, you can see this edge is very jaggedy, you see it's high up here, comes down, and then it comes down even more. We want to kind of double crochet across here to make it look straight, and when I get to about row, I think it was row 9, or let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, row 11 here, this where these star stitches are over here when we get to about this point we're actually going to single crochet across this center to the next star stitch section okay so from here to about here is where we're going to single crochet because that's like the highest point it kind of rounds off on mine if yours is straight across you can just double crochet across the whole thing and that's totally cool but i'm going to double crochet from here across to the end of these star stitches here and then I'm going to single crochet to this point here. So I'll meet you up when I get to this point right here and we will uh, single crochet together and then we'll go on to finishing this side. Alright, so I double crocheted up until this point here, so you can see I just did all these double crochets across. And now I'm to the point where there's these star stitches, and this kind of comes up and around. So what I'm going to do, instead of doing double crochets to make it taller, I'm going to just do single crochets across this middle section. So basically just insert your hook where it fits, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through too. And just do that now so that the t um, the height of this is not like so high when you go across here. And you can really keep that in mind like when you're making yours you can double crochet across all the way. Or if you need to do half double crochets to make them shorter or single crochet is what I'm doing right now. And you can make it uh, even shorter. So just, you know, use the, the height of your stitches as a guide and go across here. You just want it to be as straight as possible, but in the end you can block this piece as well, um, but just whatever you can do while you're crocheting, you know, just do that. So I'm just going to single crochet then until the star stitches end on this side across this way, and then once I finish this, I'm just going to double crochet across to the end, and I'll meet you up when I get to here then. Alright, when you come to the end here, what we're going to do, uh, just like we did on this corner here, we did 
the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, we are going to put where these two double crochets are in the beginning, see, one and two, we're going to put two double crochets in that same stitch there, one and two, and then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch to that first stitch, the first double crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. All right, there we go. So that was basically like round 48. It's more like a round than anything um, because it started here and then we worked all the way around our piece and ended in the same spot. So now going on to the next round, we are going to uh, do, start with this um, border here. We're going to chain up one here and then we're going to half double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet. Next, we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to skip this next stitch right here, and we're going to half double crochet into the next. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Just like that. Then chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. And we're going to do that until the chain two space of the point. Okay? At this point, you should still be looking at the front of your work. And to see the front of your work, these ridges should be facing you. So you should still be looking at the front of your work. Don't turn your work around or anything. We're just going to chain one, skip one, and half double crochet into the next. Okay, and I'm going to do that up until this point right here where the chain two space is. I'll show you how to get to the chain two space and then we'll come back up this side. Alright, so I just got to the chain two space here. There should be one stitch here. We're going to chain one and skip that stitch before the chain two space. If you have two stitches before that, then, um, you know, double crochet, skip one, and then uh, double crochet into the last stitch there. So if there is like an extra stitch here, you can double crochet in there and then work into the chain two space next. It really does not matter. So I'm just going to skip this next one here. So if there was a stitch after this one, I would double uh, half double crochet into that one and then I would um, work the this chain two space how I would now so just chain one after your last stitch on this side if you have a stitch there skip it if not just go into the chain two space here and make one half double crochet okay just one then chain two one and two and then just one half double crochet in there okay if you want to put two in there, you can, but I just did one and one. Okay, half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Then chain one and do it exactly how you did this opposite side here. So I skipped one right here, so I'm going to have to skip one here. But if you had a stitch there and you had to work a half double crochet in there, then make your half double crochet in there. Um, but for me, opposite of this side says to skip this one, and I'm going to go into the next one and make a half double crochet. Okay, and then I'm just going to work the same established pattern by chaining one, skipping one, and half double crocheting into the next. Then chain one, skip one, and half double crochet in the next. And then when I get up to the top of this, I'm going to do it all across up until this point right here. And when I get to here, I'll meet you up because we are going to actually work along that edge as well. Alright, when you come to this next uh, chain 2 space, this is where our edge is of our shawl, okay, so this long edge here. We're going to, instead of doing chain 1, skip 1, and half double crochet in the next, what we're going to do first in this chain 2 space of this corner, we're going to, I'm going to chain 1 here, but in this corner here, I'm going to put 3 half double crochets. 1, 2, and three. If you want to, you can put two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet in there as well to keep it uniform with this one if you want to. Totally up to you. And then what we're going to do, instead of chaining one or skipping any stitches, we're just going to put one half double crochet into each stitch across this side. Now, this is just the flat side of our 
piece. This is not the angled sides, so this is just a long side um, that's at the top of the shawl. So I'm just going to dub uh, half double crochet into each of these stitches and then um, when I get to the other end it will be back to the beginning of this round. And then we can go on to our very last round. Alright, so we're coming back to the beginning here. Here's our beginning. There's just a chain two space here. So what I'm going to do is put three half double crochets in this chain two space just like I did on the opposite side. And on the opposite side, I chained one. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm going to chain one here and slip stitch to the first stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Fabulous. Now, we need to start in this chain one space for our last round. This is round 50, okay, or I guess it's going to be a row. We're going to go from this edge along the whole piece, and we're going to end on this edge right here, okay? We're not working across this side anymore, okay? So this is the end of the road for this side here, but we're just going to go along this to this side, okay? And the last thing we have to do is just this really pretty edge of these little like pico style pieces. So what we're going to do is slip stitch into this chain one space. You want to start in a chain one space up in the corner here. So if you're going to change color you can fasten off slip stitch in one of these in this very first or I guess it would be the second one because this would be the first but uh, this chain one space right here at the top. Slip stitch in there and then chain one and then single crochet back in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now in the very next chain one space right here, we are going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, here's two, and three. And then we're going to make something called a pico. What that means is we're going to chain three, one, two, three and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. This third chain right there, we're just going to go into there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And oops, that's a pico. Okay, we're going to work back into that same chain three space though to make that pico really stand out. We are going to put three more double crochets into that chain one space. One, two, and three. Okay, and you can see here, when you flatten it all out, the pico is more of a point. Okay, well, my first pico doesn't look so great, but we can uh, keep practicing and make it better. So, so then in the next stitch, or in the next two chain one spaces here, this chain one space and this chain one space, we're gonna single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And this next one here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Then in this next one here, we're going to make this same sequence here. So in here, we're going to put three double crochets. One, two, three. Then make your pico, so chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the third chain. What I might do is actually turn this toward me. You can see that back ridge on there. Right here, I'm just going to go into that loop. Okay? Then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. That might be a little better to make the point a little better. And then put your three double crochets into that same chain one space. One, two, and three. And there you have another one. That's much better. And that's pretty. So then we're just going to repeat that sequence. So single crochet into the next two chain one spaces. So one and one. And then make this little arch here like this in this next one. So three double crochets, one, two, three. I'm just gonna go a little faster here. Chain three for the pico, one, two, three. And slip stitch into the third chain and then put three more double crochets in the same chain one space. And then single crochet in the next two chain one spaces. And just repeat that along this whole edge here. 
repeat it all the way down this edge until you get to this point. I will meet you up when I get to this point and I'll show you what to do here and then we'll go up this opposite side. Alright, I'm at the point where I'm at the chain 2 space here where the point is. I only have one chain 1 space after this last one here and I, along the side so far before going into this chain 2 space of this point I have 21 of these uh, points here. So uh, if you have more or less it really doesn't matter um, but that's how the edge looks. So now this last chain 1 space here I'm just going to single crochet in there Okay, there, if you have two spaces, that's great. If not, if you only have the one, that's fine too. Then, what you want to do is, in this chain two space, we're actually going to put four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then chain three, do your pico. See, one, two, and three then slip stitch to the third chain yarn over pull through and through and then put four more double crochets in that same chain two space okay that's just for the tip of this piece this is the very bottom center of our piece so now we're going to do the opposite of what we did on this side so if you did single crochet in the last two uh, over on this side then single crochet in the next two before you make this. But since I only did one here, I'm just going to single crochet in this next one right here. And then my very next piece, my next point, is going to be right in this very next one right here. So three double crochets, chain three, make your pico, and then three more double crochets in the same space and then single crochet into the next two chain one spaces just like we did on the opposite side so now we're just going up this side here so I'm just going to do that exactly how we did on the other side I'm going to do that along this side and when we come to the top of this side here we're going to fasten off so that's what I'm going to do next all right, so I just made my last point here, and I single crocheted in this last one here. There is, whoopsie, one more chain one space before the three uh, half double crochets in that space here. I'm just going to fasten off at this point. We're not going to go across here to come back to the beginning. We're just going to end it here. So what I'm going to do is slip stitch into this space right here, go in, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And then to fasten off, because we're done, we're gonna chain one, cut our yarn, let's cut the yarn, and then pull that all the way through that chain one there and pull it tight so that is secure. And then we can grab our yarn needle, there it is, yarn needle, and yarn our needle. Oh, this is the wrong needle. This is a really tiny needle. I'll have to grab my yarn needle and then we can sew this end in and grab some beads. Alright, I grabbed a better needle here. We're just going to yarn our needle with that strand and just go behind the stitches here, underneath at the base of the stitches, and we are going to weave that in. So I just yarned my needle and going underneath the stitches, just pulling that yarn through, and then you can even go back and forth if you want to, just to hide that. It's not going to unravel or anything, so we're safe, but uh, just to hide that, it's good. Just like that. And any other ends that you may have um, in your piece, you can sew in the rest. There should be one in the center here, so I'm going to do that too. And then, uh, what we need to do next, now if you want to, you can be finished with this. Uh, just You don't have to add the beads or anything. You can be done. Congratulations, you are finished with your beautiful shawl. Uh, but I am actually going to sew on some beads to add a little extra detail and embellishment so what I'm gonna do here let me just sew that in there cut this fabulous okay so this is what it should look like so far so what we're gonna do now along this edge here on each of these points above each of these points like right in this little chain one space here is where we're gonna and we're gonna sew on some beads so this part is gonna be a little bit more tedious and I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing but I showed you earlier in the intro we have this um, transparent thread okay transparent thread 
and this is just clear thread. It looks kind of like fishing line, but it's very thin. You, can, you can't even see it on the camera. It's really thin and clear. You can use, um, you know, the color thread that you have, um, you know, of your yarn. If you, since this is more of like a burgundy color, I could have gotten like a burgundy yarn or a burgundy thread to match the yarn, uh, but that's up to you. But I think that the transparent thread works perfectly great and it's fabulous. And then also these, um, I got loops and threads um, needles here. I'm just going to use the smallest needle on this end right here. You want to use a really small needle because these beads that I have here, I got these on sale, these beads are very small. So uh, these are just the like glass pearls, it says. So this is uh, the red color that I'm going to use to match mine, but you can use any, any beads that you want for yours. So what we're going to do, I have this little tiny container here and one of my needles are in here oopsie there we go okay so I have a little needle and I have this little container you can get a little container or something to hold your beads in and what I'm going to do there we go is cut this end here Ooh, you don't want to lose your beads I'm going to keep them in that little container. Okay. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is take this invisible thread and grab a long strand of it. And I know you're not going to really be able to see this at all because it is so difficult to see clear thread. Okay. Ooh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so we're going to thread our needle. <laughs> I'm going to thread this needle. Whoops. <laughs> oh gosh. It's really difficult to see invisible thread, you guys. Okay, I'm going to get in there. There we go. I'm in. Alright, once you have it threaded, we are going to pull a lot because we want to go all the way from one end to the other. So I'm going to actually get up and s stand up. I'm going to pull a ton of this thread. Like, yeah, a ton. That should be good. And then we're going to meet the ends together here. So meet the two ends together and then cut it. And then we're going to tie these two in a knot. Okay. If you need to learn how to do sewing tricks and tips on how to do it, you can look those tutorials up online. But I'm just going to tie a, a basic slip knot. It's a basic knot, but you pull all the way through. Oops. So just loop it around and then pull it through. I know it's very difficult to see this. Sorry, guys. But once you have it all knotted, I did two knots, so you can see there's a little tiny knot right there. Okay, then I'm going to center my needle on this strand. Once your needle is centered and you have your thread on there, you can kind of see it now. Awesome. What we're going to do is start from one end and work our way to the next. So to do that... We're going to start on this end here, and we're going to start in the back, and we're going to wrap this around right here, okay? And you don't want to um, tangle your thread, so it's going to be quite tedious. So you got to pull all the way. Awesome. Now, later on, we will sew in this short end, okay? So just ignore that for now. And I'm going to go back in through here. And then we're going to go up to the center right here. Okay, and I'm going to pull. And again, it's going to be tedious at first, you know, trying to figure out how and where you got to get your thread. And this thread is so super, like, tangly. Like, it, it really does, you know, get really like loopy and then tangly so make sure you have that then what we're going to do is grab one of our beads onto our needle 
onto the thread and pull. Okay. Then what we're going to do is hold that there. We're going to go up behind this stitch right here that we skipped on that row. We're going to go up behind it, through it, and pull. Okay. Then what we're going to do is go down into the center of the bead, right through here, through to the bottom of that, back through to the back side of this pointed piece right here. Okay, just like that. And then pull. And just make sure everything stays, whoopsie, in place and pull tight. And there's one bead attached. Awesome. Now we're in the back here. Now we want to go over here. Just ignore this one here. We're going to go over to the next one. So just go underneath these stitches, kind of like how we were weaving in our ends. Just weave this over to the center of this next one right here. And then pull your, whoops, pull your needle out to the center and in the front. Okay, just like that. And pull. Just trying not to tangle it, you know. It's kind of difficult. There we go. Okay, then you can grab another bead and do the same thing. Going up behind this little stitch making sure the bead is on there, going back down through the bead, and then down through this piece, okay? And then just move over to the next one, put the bead in that one, and do the same exact thing all the way across, okay? All the way to the other side. When I'm about to fasten this off and all my beads are attached, I'll meet you back up and we can admire our final work. All right, so you want to end on the back side of your piece here, just like this on the back side, and we are just going to fasten this off. I'm just going to wrap around a few of the stitches. Okay, I'm going to keep my finger in the loop. I know, again, it's very difficult to see the strands of this thread, but I'm going to go back through the loop then and pull tight. And I'm going to do that like five times because I do not want these beads to fall off of my work. Okay, so I'm just going around, looping it around my finger, then going back through the loop, and then pulling everything, let's see, tight, but you don't want to get your piece in a uh, tangle either, so. And then you can go underneath some of the stitches, okay, and keep going under the stitches, kind of hiding the strand, and then... Going back through, okay, and just making sure that you have it completely secure in the back there. And I think I don't. Sorry, I'm just coming through these loops, and again, you can knot it again if you want to. And then when you're satisfied with the knotting and everything, and you're all hidden and everything, you want to just cut this strand, and your shawl is complete. I just have to say a huge thank you to everybody for watching and learning how to make this fabulous piece. It has been a pleasure. It has been a task and a chore. And anybody who receives this, if you make this for yourself or for anybody on your gift giving list or wherever, this is so fabulous. Look at that. Look at all the beads and how fabulous they look. That detail and that touch just really adds to it. It is so fabulous. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. I love the ombre collection. And big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmet, for filming this whole tutorial. This took us so long, but it was so fabulous. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. 
Until next time, happy hooking!